it is I, the Void Monkey. Okay, so to start, we're gonna start by animating a part. So I've created a small animation here where the part moves forward and then it zips really quickly throughout this and this keyframe. It's one of that one. And we're gonna add some VFX to it. You can find any VFX, you can use a VFX pack. I have a VFX pack that I did not make, but I credited all the owners inside Void Monkey's animation plugin. So it's your choice if you want to use that, but I use one of the VFX in there. Which is this really nice looking smear thing made by the guy who made bargain smears. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up first of all and change the colour a bit to match with if I move this up here so you can see it if it wants to move because it doesn't want to move for some reason. There we go. I'm gonna change the colour of the part to the part of the brick, which is bright blue, I think. Now we have this. What I'm gonna do. Now I don't know if this works, I'll probably try it later, but I'll set it C frame size and transparency. I'm gonna set keyframes all of them. Transparency is gonna be one. Size is gonna be uh nothing, but they're both they're all gonna be on non, okay? And we're, all, we're gonna go to the part where the part actually moves. Set the transparency to zero, and we're gonna position that like that. Make sure it's all linear, by the way. These these keyframes need to be linear, and then so and then we need to go to the end part. We're gonna mess with the size again using. Three, so we're doing this in the actual workspace. By the way, I forgot to mention. So we mess with it in the workspace, and then we create a keyframe for it after. So you see how it grows bigger on its own. But this is out of time and goes faster because I haven't. You change the C frame inside Moon Animator. So we need to bring the C frame back a bit here. And then when it's here, we need to find using onion skin, we need to find the start of it. So we're gonna put it in reference to the start of the block and the end of the block. And so basically what we're gonna that hopefully remove the onion skin. So change the part transparency to be one and set this one to none. So it fades out. Now we have the effects on the part. I think that looks quite good. The way it like speeds, and we could obviously make this better, but this is like for base stuff anyway. Some people have asked how I did the trail effect here when the arm moves up, and I will be debunking how I did that. So first of all, I found a trail effect. It was like inside a part and it was called bullet trail or something. And basically the way I did it, inside the right arm, inside the trail part, there was these three things, attachment zero, attachment one, and trail. I moved those into the right arm, like going from like there to there, putting it in the right arm. Then I move attachment zero into a like a spot and then I put attachment one into the spot and the trail would now stretch from there to there and then inside the trail if you see the it's un, it's currently enabled the transparency is zero so when it moves we'll give off a trail if it decides to stop lagging it will give off a trail like that the trail turns off here which stops any other movement of the trail and anything else like anything else that's like waning slowly goes transparent so there's no like broken curves so you'd add 
the enabled and transparency. And that's basically it. Another effect I use in this video, in my videos, are light parts. Now you may recognize these because these look very similar to something if I make the actual part invisible. It looks like the same as the YouTuber Ufa Guide uses to make his background light in the video to make like a highlight on the characters. If I delete the character, or not delete the character, if I make this part transparent, you will see that the light reflects off the character and you can change the colour. If you really want you can make it white. I'd recommend turning the brightness down if it was white. And it has a white shade. Also I'd recommend making a bloom effect inside that inside the lighting and setting it to zero. Because it just looks way nicer like that. And my Roblox Studio is lagging again. There we go. It just looks genuinely nicer. Also, what the hell happened back here? I also use these debris effects which is like for like destruction physics if anyone would like to fall I'd make it go like uh, up like that so it looks like destruction and inside the model there's a bunch of parts which you can change any colour material at will here I have a short rushed animation of me falling and going splat. Now there's not much effect on that, so we're going to use some of the techniques that we have shown to make it better. Starting with debris. We're going to get the debris, add it to the animation, make it at the start, make it under the map, change the style to none. On the impact, I want to bring it back and place it under the player or character or whatever you want to call it. After a month of scripting, yeah, I've got a new saying character now. We want to do that, but we want to make it go slightly up on frame 35 and on frame 40 down again that's what I do and when it lands you slide. we could also do that with the character but I was too lazy to do that because I want to focus on the actual effects yeah that's a bit of a fact now we're gonna add well first of all I just wanted to show a little cool technique that if you like doing if you know what a highlight is, you can add it inside your character and it'll do something like this. Change the outline transparency to 1, change the depth mode to occluded, uh, uh, you know what I mean, and then make it any colour you want. I prefer now like 0 0.5 red. Uh, add the highlight to the animation and set it as fill transparency. Make the fill transparency 1 at the start with none as the easing style. When it lands, set it the easing style to linear and the the uh, fill transparency to 0 0.5. Then make it slowly ease out throughout the keyframe, like that. And then do it right, and you look something like that. It looks like you're taking damage. That's a good skill to learn. I like messing with highlights because it looks nice. Now. We're going to add uh, a trail to the character as it falls. Okay, now that we have a trail part, which for some reason doesn't want to move when I select it, but that's that. We can take the attachment, attachment one and two, and the aura color because that's what they named it, and we put it inside the torso. And supposedly that would make it. Yep, it makes it fall. Now, my opinion is it's falling too slow, so I'm going to move it slightly closer. There we go. We can delete the 
the part which held all the parts and now there's a trail coming out and we don't need to get rid of the trail because it basically already gets rid of itself when the character starts moving also if we want you can also add you can also use one of these types of effects to create a sort of wind landing explosion as it falls like I said we add the C-frame size and transparency move the C-frame to the current position well the current position what I'm saying is don't move it to the current position move it to the position where the, the thingy lands and just make that the first frame set the transparency to all one and the size to whatever size you want when it, you want to start. When it lands, set the transparency to zero. And then, because uh, to make it, and I don't make sure I don't ruin it, I'm going to make it so the size automatically gets bigger by changing the vector three on the actual keyframe instead of like changing it in. Roblox Studio. So now it gets bigger as it lands and I accidentally made this non. Keep in mind that this this needs to be all non. Set all the start things to non except for the character and the light part. And make sure when it when it hits down right you wanna Set the make sure the transparency also is linear at this part so it makes sort of a explosionist thing like that except for that was too quick uh, that was too quick that was too slow yeah like that and now if you followed that entirely, or you did something else like that, you can do the effects now. Technically, you can do the effects. You can do the effects the way I do it. I know it was a quick tutorial, and next tutorial will be a smoothness tutorial. But I just wanted to get that out, get this out of the way, just in case anybody was wondering. Anyway, yeah, that's basically it.